happy feast of infant Jesus of Prague. If anyone has yet to read the grand history behind the miraculous infant Jesus of Prague, I will share the link below for you to read it up. Also, I will share some links to few powerful prayers to recite on this day. Do check it out. Usually, I release my videos on Sundays, but today I am doing this short video as I have a strong belief in the devotion to infant Jesus. Now, this devotion uh, to Holy Child Jesus has been a tradition of the Catholic Church for a very long time. Let us see what is this devotion is about from the book Devotion to Infant Jesus of Prague. Devotion to the Infant Jesus of Prague is devotion to the Child Jesus. It is veneration of the Son of God, who in the form of an infant chose a stable for a palace, manger for a cradle and shepherds for worshippers. Our Saviour grants special graces to all who venerate His sacred infancy. Now, I didn't know much about this devotion until infant Jesus Himself came to us to make Himself more known to us in a special way. Yes, on our wedding day, one nun, whom we do not know at all, gave a big statue of infant Jesus of Prague as a wedding gift. Since then, I was more intrigued to know about this devotion. I do know he is very miraculous because my parents and grandparents, also one of my friends who initiated this devotion on Thursdays in me, all of them had a strong belief that whatever asked for good of soul was always granted. Especially uh, childless and deceased were attributed to this uh, devotion. So many miracles. Now, I experienced it personally as well uh, and yes, it is indeed a very powerful devotion. So, I used to pray Novena on Thursdays, which is a uh, day dedicated to Infant Jesus of Prague and I used to pray this Novena for important needs and that's about it. This is my only understanding about this devotion. So, once on Christmas, when I was praying before the crib and I was praying to child Jesus in the crib at our home, there was some profound joy inside me that, you know, filled my heart in a very different and special way. We all experience this kind of joy, you know, seeing the babe when priest uh, lifts in the Christmas Mass, right? So, this is very different to when we ponder Jesus on cross, where mostly, you know, it moves us to repentance and so on. So, I realized clearly there is a different effect on me. When I see child Jesus and ponder and when I see Jesus on the cross and ponder. So as always, when I am in this kind of situation, saints come to my rescue and make me understand what I am uh, struggling with. So actually there are so many saints who have strong devotion to child Jesus. I am uh, giving you a few examples. Saint Anthony, Saint Rose of Lima, Saint Faustina, Saint Catherine, Saint Francis of Assisi, Saint Alphonsus, Saint Jerome, and few saints who had devotion to infant Jesus of Prague, like Saint Teresa of Avila, Saint Therese of Child Jesus, etc. And after reading few encounters of a couple of saints with this devotion, I clearly understood that this is, there is something more to this devotion. So today I thought I will share a few basic insights from some saints on why to have devotion to child Jesus. First up is Saint Faustina. It seems Jesus appeared to Saint Faustina as a child many times during her prayer and mass. She says his smallness inspires trust in her. Saint Faustina said, quote, Devotion to Christ's child deepens our trust in God because we know we have nothing to fear from a God who would stoop so low as to become a little child for our sake. He has become so small, you see, a child, so that you can approach him with confidence. St. Faustina came to appreciate that Jesus, who came as her judge, Lord and Creator, also loved her with the tenderness of a small child. It seems child Jesus once appeared to her and said, quote, I keep company with you as a child to teach you humility and simplicity. End quote. Next up, St. Teresa of Avila. 
she had a very strong devotion to infant jesus of prague and it seems she always traveled with infant jesus statue especially when she was establishing new convents she said she often meditated upon the great humility of jesus in his incarnation next saint therese of child jesus throughout her life particularly devoted to the infant jesus just as saint teresa of avila the spiritual teaching of saint therese is often called as the little way of the spiritual childhood it seems the infancy of jesus was for her a source of inspiration for this he said jesus has chosen to show me the only way that leads to the divine furnace of love it is the way of childlike self surrender the way of a child who sleeps afraid of nothing in its father's arms so just sharing with you a few insights from this wonderful saints and i believe jesus chose to appear to these saints then many other saints like a child to encourage them to imitate his very important childlike virtues as how saints described virtues like trust humility simplicity joy surrender perseverance purity of heart and so on many saints attained these virtues by meditating on the holy divine child jesus so these virtues must be very critical right so we do need them and this devotion to infant jesus can and should go beyond prayers like how for saints it happened and i think it is very apt for us to meditate on the child jesus on this infant jesus feast to learn from the divine infant what virtue he wants us to imitate the most we know jesus said in gospels unless you turn and become like children you will never enter kingdom of heaven god bless